of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, draw your strength from the Lord and from his mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God that you may be able to resist on the evil day and having done everything to hold your ground. So stand fast with your loins girded in truth, cloth with righteousness as a breastplate, and your feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and supplication, Pray at every opportunity in the Spirit. To that end, be watchful with all perseverance and supplication for all the holy ones and also for me, that speech may be given me to open my mouth, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains, so that I may have the courage to speak as I must. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-stringed lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away. Leave this area because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox. Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform healings today and tomorrow, and on the third day I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day, for it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who will you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you. How many times I yearned to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned. But I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Minsan na rin po ba kayong pinigilan sa mga gawaing mahal na mahal ninyong gawin? Were there times that you were asked not to do things that you love? And I know that it is a very bad feeling on our end. When we are restricted, when we are asked to stop, most especially things that we love to do. You have the energy, you have the talent, you have the capacity, then out of the blue, you were asked, not to do it. We've heard how Jesus was again tested by the Pharisees. He was tested by asking him to leave that place, Jerusalem, since we've heard Herod was trying to kill him. But we've heard how unrelenting and passionate was the answer of Jesus to this men by saying, and at least he was trying to tell them, you cannot stop me from what I love to do. You cannot stop me from what my father wants me to do here in this place. Jerusalem was at least cited three times in today's gospel. 
And we know how special Jerusalem was for Jesus. Because in Jerusalem, as I've shared it at least in one of my homilies here, Jerusalem was the place where he faced his purpose. At ano po ba ito? Sa lugar na ito, he was there to give his life, to die for us, and on the third day, to rise again. At tila sinasabi ni Jesus sa kanila, You cannot handle me at this time. You cannot stop me from here. You cannot hinder us at this time. My dear brothers and sisters, like Jesus, there will be many voices who will tell us and say to us, Stop doing what you love. Do not do what is asked of you. Tumigil ka na sa kabutihan mo. Huwag ka nang gawa ng gawa. So on and so, so forth. And in the midst of these words and experiences, Jesus had that heart and guts to say that no one can stop me. Our first reading is a good reminder that we put on the armor of God so that as we face these struggles, the worldly rulers, the evil spirits compelling us and stopping us, we can say that with God and with God's power, no one can stop us. No, no, that you will not be left out from doing what is right. With the Lord, we can do what we love to do. No one can stop us from doing what God wants us to do. In the midst of these people testing us, the Lord will be helping us well. In the midst of these people discouraging us, the Lord will keep on inspiring us. The Lord will keep us and help us to do what is right and good. And no one can stop us from doing it and from sharing it to others. Please stand. Aware of our mission in the world to be prophets of God's merciful love, let us pray to our Father to make us faithful and courageous in our task. We shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through its leaders, may be faithful to her prophetic task of pointing out to the peoples of our time the values of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That contradiction and opposition may not discourage or embitter those who work for a better world, but that love may inspire them to move on. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may receive God's word willingly, even if it demands much from us or upsets us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who care for the sick may never get tired of caring and treating them with personal attention and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the healing grace of God may purify those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions and lift up to the Lord all the intentions offered in this Mass, our prayers for one another, for our brothers and sisters affected by the Typhoon Leon, most especially our brothers and sisters from the Batanes Islands. We ask the Lord to bless them and protect them from every harm. Grant them faith and confidence in His loving mercy.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, your Son Jesus lived as he spoke. Give us the Holy Spirit to follow him without hesitation on the way to your kingdom where he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, beloved brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, o Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, that we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all the distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Mm -hmm. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. On tomorrow, November 1, and on the second day of November, we shall celebrate the solemnity of all saints and the commemoration of all the faithful departed. We have our regular Mass schedules here at the Cathedral at 7.30 in the morning and at 12.10 in the afternoon. And if you wish to, again as well, remember and pray for your departed loved ones, our All Souls envelopes is still available inside the Blessed Souls Chapel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen.